spin the demon back with you. Am I doing a Dreamcast collection video? It's not bloody likely, not yet. <laughs> Anyways, another opening a new game together. You guys can check that out. I'm just kidding. Uh, another opening a new game together. Last week, uh, we kind of got bummed out. We got a reopened game. I did some research, you know, for sure. I'm sorry, guys. That was a, a re-shrink wrap. I'll argue to the end of that. There's just too many things. You know, it stunk. <laughs> so, what's... What's, it didn't stink good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so, want to give you guys a for real uh, shrink wrap game. We haven't done any box sets or anything like that lately. Uh, Kill up the girlfriend, she picked up this game. Just a couple, like, it's been a couple weeks now. But, uh, she got it right when it came out. And this is, uh, Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Now you go spin, that's messed up, you're opening her game, and she's filming, so... This, this is what we do together. Alright, and, uh, it's our game, you know? So, let's take a look at the art and stuff under the shrink. Got this from my work, Gamers Planet. I just saw it there, and it was just really cool. I just said, you know, Jeff, buy me. So I was just like, yeah, maybe. But it was calling out the girlfriend's name a little bit harder. I showed her, I was talking about it. And it was just spontaneous, like, I was, I was filling in for a couple minutes, picking up my paycheck, and I got the text, I got the approval to pick it up, so I did. And let's open it together, guys. Alright. Now, this game's interesting. Um, I believe it's Nis America. They're, they're publishing it, obviously, in America. You had Sega publishing it in Japan. You had Koi publishing it in Europe with Tecmo. This game's really cool. I don't know much about it. We obviously haven't played it yet, but just from the five minute research and just reading the back of the box, this game seems like one that, you know, you should just pick up. I don't think this game's gonna do extraordinary well. I don't I don't foresee like a greatest hits copy coming out. And we wanted to snag it while it was available. Uh, just something like this just from past experience, and I could be totally wrong. Don't listen to me and go buy it because of that. But from past experience, I can tell you that this type of thing will definitely... Now, is this glued to shut it again, or is that just on the box? Yeah. Anyways, I'll take care of that in the future. I'm not going to do it right now and waste their time together. Now, this is really nice so far. I like it. Um, you know, not much different from the cover here. This is a PlayStation 3 exclusive title. Sorry, 360 owners. Um, you'll have to wait a little bit, maybe. They'll put it out later. And uh, so far, so good. Now, let's check it out. Last book was black and white. Um, been black and white the last few times. Let's see if we got color in. This is a, an expensive set. Nope. Black and white. But I believe it comes with an art book. So, we're probably going to get pretty much all this stuff again. Just going to quickly thumb through it because this is huge. We still got more stuff to go through. So, there's your book. Big book. Couple languages. No color. You got your game. Your Blu ray. This goes full 1080p and everything in between. So, a lot of newer PS3 games are just going up for to 720 for some reason. I don't know, whatever, it all looks good to me. When you're a retro gamer, the new stuff, the new gen, blows you away. Like, every time I play a game, I just bought a Xbox, like, close to launch game, 360 game, Quake 4. It blew me away. I mean, when you're a retro gamer, and that game I know doesn't even look as, like, good as, like, Bayonetta and some of the newer games I've played. Listen to me. I'm t saying games that are two years older than <laughs> I'm behind. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was really fun and looked really good. Now look at this. Now this is kind of making the, the set worth it. This is hardback. Beautiful, vivid, bright colors. You know, it reminds me of Easter for some reason. This is really fun. I like it. Wow, this is just really neat. It gets better. And a little low down about the character and what's up, you know. Their names here. Where, what company they come from. This is a really unique, unique game. Uh, there's been a few people in the community that have picked it up. I think Trouble. Um, don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but Trouble picked it up. And 
I'll let you know how it goes, and or a kill out will do some sort of thing about it and let you know how it is. But so far, so good. You know, look at that. You got your Sega, every company involved here. It's just all over the place. Not for selling this book. We'll see. If somebody does, sells that in the future. And there we are. Another game open together, guys. And we'll see you next week.